Hello my dear student, how are you? So at first welcome all of you, Sayon Sindhila, Shatani Khani, Kinsh Shorashi, Shourav, Rasti, Onubhav, Shohom, Shudipto, Dishari, Shomojit, Oyendhila, Ankhon, Devarun, Shomojitto, Shutanu, Srijita, Devulina, Devopam, Koushani, Shomojit, Shaptushi, Devarko, Promit, Roshmi, Shouresh, Arushi, and the Krishna Shish, Ishan, Nirupama. All of the students of her special warm welcome to our CBSC class 7 nutrition in plan chapter. This chapter is our last class for this session. So please carefully learn all of this topic. It is the day 7. We have a most important one topic that is the replenishing the soil with the nutrient. So very easy topic, very small topic also. So now we discuss this topic. Number one, we discuss the plants, plants and their nutrient. So plants are autotropic in nature, so they can produce their own food. But when the photosynthesis are happening, that time the water is required and some minerals also be required. Why the minerals are required? For the enzymatic function, right? For the uh, plant growth are happening due to the this, uh, important of this nutrient like nitrogen, phosphorus is the most important. So plants and get their nutrient from where? From atmosphere? No. They get the nutrient from their soil. Mainly so hence there is the needed to replenish the soil again with the nutrient so that the plants can survive on it. Because if a uh, plant is uh, position is a particular static position, if continuously plant get this nutrient for that particular region so after some years the nutrient is not available for that particular this area of the soil so how we are overcome this problem that is we discuss in our today class so fertilizer and the manure are often used to replenish the nutrient uh, deficiency nutrient right nutrient deficiency can overcome by the adding of fertilizer and manure right we already discussed the fertilizer right the different type of fertilizer is there bio fertilizer is the most common in recent in the world now the uh, the content that means the fertilizer content maybe potassium phosphorus nitrogen and separately and another time the all the all the different type of this uh, minerals are attached together and give to plant for their growth right so this is the most important step but we are discuss the biological science so now biological science the bacteria is the most important why because for the increase the fertility you already know this the name of this bacteria that is a rhizobium bacteria rhizobium bacteria where it is present present in the roots of the leguminous plant so what is the importance of the rhizobium bacteria this rhizobium bacteria present in the soil also in the roots of the leguminous plant it convert the nitrogen present in it and in the available form of the plant like the nitrate which are easily available for the plant for the nitrogen so rhizobium are also be called the nitrogen fixation because in the atmosphere n2 is there but this is not the acceptable form of for the plants so the rhizobium bacteria but can able to fix this nitrogen and they convert it into nitrate nitrate is the available for for the plant now the rhizobium generally lives in the roots of the plant such as peas beans grams and leguminous and provide the nitrogen to this plant so leguminous plant they have not provided any external source of nitrogen because this bacteria can provide this thing this again an example of symbiotic relationship why it is called symbiotic relationship because the plants roots that means the plants and the bacteria both are benefited together by this association so it is called the symbiotic association by but by, but uh, by the use of this symbiotic association 
plants do not require the chemical fertilizer very interesting facts now the we are discuss some details about the symbiotic relationship symbiotic relationship means sometimes the organism live together to share shelter and food with each other both are benefited together that time this association are called the symbiotic association common to example one is the lichens another is the rhizobium that is we already discuss but now we discuss the most important another one example that is the lichens in there some fungi live in the roots on the tree this fungi take food from the trees and return to help the tree in the absorbing the water and nutrient from the soil that time it is called the mycorrhiza so in the mycorrhiza that time the symbiotic relationship are happening between the roots of the higher plants plus fungi now we discuss the another symbiotic relationship that is called the lichens in there the organism have the chlorophyll that means the algae and the fungus they have no chlorophyll and their relationship is called the lichens so lichens it is a symbiotic association between the algae and fungi algae are the autotrophs fungi are the heterotrophs but how they are benefited together algae can produce their own food by the photosynthesis process and provide it to the fungi but fungi right that time they help to absorb the water or moisture right they help to uh, um, Uh, present particular one rocks or attachment to the particular rocks that is their help so both are benefited together so this is the symbiotic association so the mycorrhiza this is also most important to enhancement of the soil fertility and also we discuss the function of the rhizobium that is most important because in that association it is a symbiotic association which which is also the help to enrichment of the soil fertility so this is our chapter the most important nutrition in plants we are cover all the topic in your syllabus one by one day by day now is the exam time next two week is the exam for you next week is the exam for the science olympiad type of exam that means some mcq type of question is there and your syllabus nutrition in plants only a single chapter right but after the next week you you give a test on your board exam type that means the subjective type of question that time we are show the questions and you write the answer in your copy and after giving the exam you just take a photocopy of this uh, your copy and send it to my whatsapp number right so this is the procedure for subjective test and the you know, in the mcq test you already know that you write down it in the live chat box and you calculate the total marks and write it in the comment section so best of luck all of the student for for the next two weeks because it is the important for you so it is the exam time now thank you thank you very much and wish you best of luck